Oh, hello there. Yep. And I'm opening a soda can. So I'm awesome. So yes, here we are. Another episode of Steambirds. After a long time. Because I've been on a bit of hiatus, I guess. Uh, a couple things. It, you might hear my furnace. I'm sorry, I can't change that. And hopefully you won't be able to pick up any wind noise. Because I have my fan kind of pointed up. But you might. And I'm going to do a sound test or something. But it shouldn't be too bad. I'm not seeing any feedback. So let's get started then. Since I, uh... I did this one. That's the last video I uploaded. I checked. And, uh, so now we will do the gassing of London. Lift... Luft... Sorry, I'm, I'm a bit drowsy right now. It's 1032. Luftwaffe Experimental Division deploys the first planes capable of carpet bombing civilian populations with poison gas. Okay then, let's begin. Sorry it sounds like me yelling, but I have sound cancelling headphones on. So it kind of makes me feel like, you know... Uh, I don't want to fight their fight. Oops, sorry. Again, I'm not used to that. Like I said, I haven't played in a while. So these guys have no forward-facing weapons. They cannot shoot me. Which is nice. But they also have that gas, so it makes it nearly impossible for me to come up from their 6 o'clock. Which would be ideal, but of course, that's too damn easy. So you can charge head on to them. Which is probably the better idea, really, so I'm going to do that now. Since, you know, these guys can't shoot me. Oh, potatoes, this might go badly. Uh, turn, 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 shit. Okay, I only got slight damage. And, uh, gun jam. Damn it. Yeah, that gas will do that. How are you? Okay, you're good. You really need to be conscious of that stuff, because it doesn't seem like it, but it will screw you over. It can screw you up, and it will doom you to failure. Okay, so now you've recovered. I'm getting gassed in the face. So I'm sure that wasn't very much fun. And, uh, okay, don't get into that. Okay, you're very, very close, but you need to put that on. Okay, so you've been downed, and you're gonna fly through some stuff, so you're gonna be damaged, but... Uh, unnecessary sacrifice, I guess. You just need to fly off into the sunset and keep yourself from getting killed. I don't want to lose a plane, that will be very bad for my score. Ah! Oh shit! <laughs> That wasn't such a good move. Okay, he managed to avoid it somehow. Cool. Sweet sauce. Sweet sausages. Of sausagesness. Ah. Ah, potatoes. Holy sweet potatoes. I do believe this is bad. I do believe it is. Man, it sounds like flesh getting fried. I don't know if I went over this in previous videos, like I said, it's been a long time, but... Flying these planes would be a dangerous job. Like, will the steam line got set where you get superheated steam sprayed up into your face, pretty much frying your face off, and since instead of using a nuclear hotbox, you would also basically have a major Chernobyl flying around. God, these guys are freaking crazy. Um, okay. Oh, pfft. Run, star! Come on, give me a break, you ass! Okay, whatever. So now we will do shooting the messenger. Scout balloons are spotted near the Russian border. Rumors of a two-front war begin to escalate. Interesting. I don't know why they got such a bad grade on that last one, but it works, I guess. Okay, so you're probably going, oh, these guys are hopeless balloons, right? They can't possibly hurt you. <clears throat> uh, not, that's not the case, trust me. Um, there, they do have a, a short-range tail gun back here that will screw you up. But in front, this is, this is no man's land. You do not want to fly 
within a certain envelope. I forgot where it was, but if you get within there, good luck getting out with your planes intact, because I guarantee you it will be a miracle. It is not fun. I've done it before, and I learned the hard way not to do that. So pull away, make sure you come up from behind them, and like I said, and like you see here, they're kind of covering each other. Because this guy, his forward guns can fire on anybody trying to strafe him from behind. So we're just going to have to wait for them to separate and do a reasonable firing pattern. But they are very, very, very slow. Especially compared to your bristles, which are pretty darn fast. Which is awful nice. So that will work to your advantage. But again, they have one slight advantage, which is that they are gravely armored, so, yeah. Chains are using balloons, but, you know, the rest of the game's not very accurate, so, understandable, I guess. Okay, I don't want to find those no man's land up there, because that would end up in endless pain! Uh, slowly, 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 cautiously. Um, oh, Jesus. Turn, 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 turn. Shit. And there's that tail gun. Yep, I just did what I really didn't want to do. And I screwed up hilariously. Run. Yeah, you're very, very badly damaged. I don't know if I really want to risk losing a plane. I mean, I don't... It doesn't matter. The game's not dynamic, but... I don't want to. I go for something absolutely like retardedly and s stupid. Why am I doing it? Because I'm stupid. Yeah! <laughs> okay, no, this is not so much fun anymore. The f Sorry, my door is clicked and I was thinking somebody was coming in. Oh shit, run! Okay, never mind. Not such a good idea, I guess. Again, sorry for any background noise. I can't help it. What was that? Oh. Oh. I think that's his firing envelope, though. I do not wish to get within that. Because that will bring with it endless pain. Endless pain. Now, do a flippity doo. What the f am I saying? I don't know, I'm tired, I shouldn't be doing this. What the f- Aww! Aww, that other guy crashed. That's what happened. Aww. Sad, I lost a bird. I don't I don't like to do that. Saddening. I don't know if that damages them when they're on fire. I'm guessing it does, because you know they're on fire and all, but hmm. Nice to know, I guess. Probably should have not wasted that plane and just shot down a bunch of guys in a kamikaze run. But I didn't do that. Uh, I don't like what that guy's doing. And you're going down, so... Do that again. Again, don't try to, like, do anything stupid. You can easily outmaneuver these guys. Don't try to do anything else, because this just works the best. Yeah. It just does. Trust me. Although you probably shouldn't, because that will be the worst decision of your life. One of the worst decisions you can make is gouging your eyes out with a plastic spork like the ones you get from Taco Bell. Um, <laughs> I don't know where that came from, by the way. That was pointless, but it looked kind of cool. 
So it wasn't so pointless, maybe? Hmm. <laughs> Shit. Yep, and there's that tail gun again. Son of a bitch, run, you fucker. Okay. Oh god, that was close. I apologize for that, but that scared the living H E double hockey sticks out of me. <laughs> okay then, and you're dead. On foil nearly dead. Goodbye and good riddance. Yep, one star again. Too bad. Oh, and I want an achievement. Cool. Okay, then I'll conclude it for this video. Next time we will do other stuff. Um, fire with fire and secret weapons. Ooh, the flying wing. Shit. Well, I'll see you guys later at my execution.